What's going on guys, Bills here from Achievement Land and I'm here with Rollerdrome. This game released on the Xbox and Xbox Game Pass November 28, 2023 and it's actually a pretty easy completion. There's easy assist options and there's also an easy trick to get high scores which I'm going to show you. The hardest part about this game is getting the high scores so with this trick you should be able to complete the game no problem. And it should take around like 6-8 to eight hours depending on your skill and how efficient you are. But first I'm going to go over the assist options so you want to go to settings and down to assist. And we have all these things you can put on, invincibility, so you don't take any damage. You, there's a damage scale, but it doesn't matter because you have invincibility. Then we have infinite ammo, which is great. Infinite reflex time, this is where you slow down. Game speed, I guess you could slow it down if you want. I didn't mess with this. No challenges required. You want to just leave this alone because we have to do the challenges. And then there's easy slug shots, which you want to put on because they're good to use. And also, there's an achievement for uh, doing a whole match with just slug shots. And uh, none of these assists affect the achievements. You could still unlock the achievements, which is cool. And speaking of, let's uh, go over the achievements. So this game has 21 achievements. And uh, you get one for going through the intro and doing the entry test. We'll show you how to play a little bit. You get one for finishing your first match. And finishing a match without taking any damage, which will be very easy with your uh, invincibility assist on. Complete every tutorial exercise. Finish a match in a single combo. You're going to be doing this a lot throughout the game, but it's actually really easy to keep your combo going. You kill enemies, and they give you a lot of time. It's not from doing tricks. Tricks gives you points and also gives you ammo, but we're going to have infinite ammo, so it's even easier. You have to perform every grind move and also every grab trick in a match, and both of these are very simple to do. There's no time limit, so you can take your time, and then you can pause the game and go to the trick list to see every trick. You have to reach the quarters, which is part of the campaign. You just play through different levels, and as you do the challenges, you unlock more levels, and you go into the quarters, the semis, and then the finals. You have to beat the spider tank without taking any damage. Very simple with the invincibility assist on. There's two different spider tank battles. We have to reach the semis. You have to kill three enemies with one grenade. This is very easy to do on the first level. You just have to play a little bit and unlock the grenade launcher. Then you can go back to the first level. Same thing with the next achievement. You have to play a little bit and unlock the Z11 shot. And then you can come back to the first level and easily do this. Or you can do it on another level, but it's easiest on the first level. We have to finish a level just using slug shots. This is with the shotgun. It's really easy to do especially with the assist on there's the infinite ammo and also the slug shot one this is like the slow down shot use l trigger to slow down and just wait for the meter to go in the middle there's challenges in each level kind of like tony hawk style but they're easy to do again the achievement for doing 50 percent of them but also we have to do all of them should have no problem especially with the assist we have to reach the final part of the campaign you have to complete the campaign after you beat the campaign you unlock the out for blood campaign which is the same campaign it's just harder in a sense but it's really not that harder with the easy assist you should have no problem it has all the enemies from like the later stages starting from the first level so that's why it's harder but uh it's really not that bad and you have challenges in this uh campaign as well but there are only three in each level compared to the main campaign where you have 10 in each one so we have to finish the alpha blood campaign and all the challenges we have to get a single combo worth more than 3 million which is very easy i'm going to show you a trick to score really high so this should be no problem and then the last two is just for the challenges. Complete 100% of the challenges now for blood and 100% of the challenges in the main campaign. All right, so let's get into this game. So there's the campaign and out for blood. We're going to go on the campaign. These are all the levels. So there's the opening stages. There's four, then quarters is three, semis is three, and then one is finals. There's not that many stages, so it's pretty quick. And you can see all the challenges that crossed out right now because I completed them all. There's 10 in each one of them. And they're all quite easy, they're just for doing certain things, doing certain tricks, doing combos, collecting things, and getting some points. And the points are going to be the easiest ones, even though they should be the hardest ones. Alright, so I'm going to start a match here, you can see all the challenges. Now there's no time limit, but if you go too long, there's a penalty to your score. But I wouldn't worry about the scores until after, I would just focus on all the other challenges, and then you can clean up with the scores later. You might even get the scores without trying. Some challenges require you to complete the whole level in a single combo, which is actually easy. There's an achievement for doing it too. But every time you kill an enemy, your combo goes up and it keeps your combo going. You can see the timer going down in the number, like the color goes down. But every time you kill somebody, it goes back up and also increases your multiplier. Doing tricks does no effect to it, but it makes your score higher. So with your multiplier and your score, you can get big scores. But there's a really easy way to score, which I'm going to show you later. When you go for the high score, you don't want to go for the single combo at the same time because you're going to lose your combo when going for the big score. So we're going to do them separate, but I'm going to go over how to get really big scores in a minute. 
First, like I said, though, every time you go through the stages, you just want to focus on the challenges. They're all really easy things to do. Like this one I'm going to do right now is killing a guy while doing an axle grind. It tells you how to do the grind right in the challenges, but you can also look it up in the trick list. And then you just do the grind and just go past someone and kill them. Some of the challenges consist of certain enemies, but they're pretty easy to figure out. Like the polybeam is the guy that's shooting me right now and he teleports. And you got to shoot him with two different weapons before he teleports. It's easy. There's these triangles around. You have to do certain tricks next to them. Each level has one of these, but they're all pretty easy to do. There's one for performing 10 unique grabs. There's the trictionary. You can go in there and see all the different moves. Every time you do a new move, it will show up yellow. There's an achievement for doing all the tricks and all the grinds in one level. So if you go to the trictionary, you could see all the grabs, all the grinds, and you just have to do them all. There's no time limit, so just go through each one and do them. They're all easy to do. And after you do the last one, you'll get the achievement. It will pop in game. And that's for the grinds. And then you just do the same thing with the grabs. The tricks are really easy to do in this game. You don't really crash at all in this game. So even if you like land on your head, he just rolls over and everything's fine. <laughs> so the achievements for uh, killing with the grenade launcher and the Z11. You want to get the grenade launcher, go to the first level. Just bring three guys together and just shoot the ground. And that will take care of that one. And then for the other one, the Z11, you just want to line up two guys and then you're going to charge it and then just shoot them. The guys in the first level don't have any shields or anything, so it's so much easier. And there we go. Two birds, one shot. So now let's go over the points. The most important thing about this game, which should be the hardest, but it's going to be really easy with this trick here. So you're going to do it with the grenade launcher. You want to get your multiplier up a little bit. So right now I'm at 15. Just want to get it like at a decent number. And then we're going to do this trick with the grenade launcher that's going to keep us in the air and it's going to keep getting points. And you can keep going until you want to end so you can get as much points as you want. So you want to take out the grenade launcher and we're going to do a trick. I didn't do a good one here. You want to do something like left, right, X or up, down, X. And then you want to hold the X. And then as you're landing, you just want to keep pressing R trigger over and over again. And that's going to keep you in the air. It's going to keep giving you points. And you're just going to keep doing this over and over again. If you don't press our trigger fast enough or if you do it in a bad spot, you might fall or it might end it. But hopefully you're going to go against the wall and you're just going to keep pressing this and you're just going to watch your points rack up. And then you could stop whenever you want and that's going to end your combo and end the trick and give you your points. And I got 2.3 million for that one. <laughs> I could have kept going and got the 3 million achievement. But uh, you're never going to really need more than that. Like for any of the levels, you don't even need 3 million for the scores. This one you only need 300,000. But the Alpha Blood campaign, you need higher scores. You need like 2 million on each level, and it's very easy with this trick. You could do it no problem. Some levels, it's a little harder to do it in just because they have like areas that you could fall off. It's still doable on all the levels, though. You just have to find a good spot. Another thing I forgot to go over is the dodge. When the snipers shoot at you, you press B at the right time and you could dodge, and then press L trigger right away, and that's super reflex. There's some challenges that contain dodges and super reflexes, so they're really easy. You just have to know how to do them. There's going to be two spider tanks that you fight during the campaign. They're very simple. You just kill the enemies to lower the shield, and then you just go on top and shoot the weak spots that are glowing red. And if you uh, kill it without taking any damage, you get an achievement, which you'll get very easily if you have the invincibility assist option on, or if you're just really good. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Overall, it's a pretty easy completion, and it's a fun game. The last thing I'm going to leave you on is how to officially go through this game and you just want to go through the campaign and just work on the mostly just the regular challenges and then you can clean up the scores after and then you're going to open up the other campaign out for blood which is the same levels it just has more enemies and then higher scores the challenges there's only three challenges so just go through each level and focus on doing the single combo and the time limit the time limit is going to be very easy because uh, you have infinite ammo and everything. So you should be able to get single combo and the time limit each time. And then you can go back and just get the scores on each one. And it should be an easy completion. But that's going to be it guys. This game is out now for $29.99. Or you can play it free with Xbox Game Pass. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video helped you. Leave a like if it did. And I'll catch you next time here at Achievement Land. <laughs>